Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Justin and today I'm going to be doing a video by request really. If you of you guys have been wanting to know what's my game room like, what's my normal movie review room like, well, the movie reviews I do in a separate room. This room that I'm in right now is really used for uh, the Smallville interviews I did, some of my reviews like the New Mutants, a few of the discussions I've had with the Urban Jedi Knights and my Zack Snyder discussion. This one's a little bit more interesting. My other room is just like posters and stuff like that. So you guys wanted to see it. So here we go. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be walking around doing this freehanded with the camera. So welcome to my mini arcade, so to speak. A lot of special editions here. We have a few on top of the arcade machines, but first off, of course, the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 mini fridge. So recently, my power supply broke on this. Surprisingly enough, I emailed the manufacturing company and they still answered, even during this pandemic. And luckily enough, they sent me an extra power supply. It's got a little light on top. Another touch to give it that authentic zombies feel. And of course, One of the most unique special editions that I own. Speaking of special editions, let's move on to the other ones that I have sitting on top of my arcade machines. Not so much a special edition, but the Mega Man statue I have with him and Dr. Wily is really cool. Dr. Wily has a little bit of a bobblehead action going on. I picked this up fairly cheap at a convention. This whole franchise is fantastic. And if you guys haven't played Mega Man 11, what are you waiting for? Next up, we have the Sonic standing on top of a Sega Genesis console special edition for Sonic Mania on Nintendo Switch. The power button has to be the best feature of this little mock system. I was kind of bummed though that the Sonic Mania special edition didn't come with the physical game at the time. Over here, we have the God of War special edition statue. There were so much other things that came with this special edition, but I just have no room to display them. And apparently I have to dust on top of my arcade machine. Behind the God of War statue is the Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2 Belmont clan book. There's a few action figures in there and some other goodies included. All right, so for my arcade machines. Now, I've had these for a little while, but doing this never gets old. Hey Google, turn on the arcade. Wait for it. Sure, turning on the arcade. How satisfying is that? Me and my friends have so much fun on these and I just wanna talk about my favorite out of all of them, Gyrus by Century. So Gyrus is a retro shooter and you move your spaceship 360 degrees around the map and shoot in the center as pictured. And it's got full stereo sound and this the design of the cabinet is fantastic. If you guys were to ask what my favorite video game is of all time, it's this one. And of course, the sunburst design on the side is just so eye-catching, down to the orange colors and the cool vectors. Now, this Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 cabinet might look a little different than what you guys are normally used to. This is actually a custom-built cabinet by yours truly, and it used to be Bases Loaded 3, I believe. I converted it, did the T-molding, control panel, the button placement, drilled all that stuff out. I put a little makeshift bezel into there as well, and it is two player, although I don't know how two players would squeeze in here. Eventually, I wanna put this in a better location. Not only do I have Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but I have Mortal Kombat 2 on the other side inside the arcade cabinet. So if I wanna switch, I just take off the harnesses and put them on the other PCB. Right here is a Multicade. Uh, it's got about 80 plus games on there. Originally, they had the control panel without any of this plastic covering on either side so the sticker started to come up so i had to fix that myself the program running this is called arcade sd which i actually don't think is available anymore of course i had to dremel out a little trackball spot and it's always fun for games like arknoid so there's my little arcade section here. I should get a little neon sign that says Justin's Arcade or some corny shit like that, but I have a Hobbit plaque instead with the key to Erebor itself. And of course the map. So this is just a little bit of my record collection. I'm not gonna go fully in depth with you guys because let's face it, that would be obnoxious, but uh, 
Lots of movie soundtracks, say what you want, but Batman vs. Superman comes with a ton of stuff. Promotional posters, cool images, uh, Stranger Things soundtrack, Quentin Tarantino's Hateful Eight, uh, Rocket League, Tenacious D, The Struts. Uh, this is one of my jewels here. The Cuphead soundtrack comes with tons of LPs and the interior is done like an old timey 1930s record would be. Um, yeah, that's basically it. My turntables Audio Technica, it's one of those cheap like Barnes and Noble brands, you know, nothing too crazy about that. Um, let me just see what's on top in the record player right now. Okay, one of my most recent pickups, the Friday the 13th soundtrack on vinyl by Harry Manfredini and just the haunting sound effects, the old style instruments, the intense chasing music, it's all blended so well together. If you guys know me, you know I love my movie soundtracks. And the campfire orange color they used really stands out. I do have to shout out my best friend Frank, who's the owner of Classic Game Junkie. He modded my Switch with the Atomic Purple Joy-Cons, and he put in a D-pad on the left-hand side. It works very well, and it's better than the original control scheme. All right, now we're getting to my console setup. So I have a lot underneath here. I don't even have enough HDMI ports to necessitate all of them, but we have the Xbox One S. I don't have the X because I didn't really think it was necessary. I still don't think it's necessary. The PS4, I have the original model. I never got the Pro. It does what it needs to do for me. And I also have a cable box there, which I don't really use too often. I usually just stream. On top of it is the PS2, got two controllers. I actually have a wireless dongle too that lets me use PS3 and PS4 wireless controllers on the PS2. I do the component out for PS2 and optical audio, so it sounds and looks as best as it possibly can coming from that machine. So right here we have the Super Analog NT, I think it's what it's called. It's an HDMI Super Nintendo basically. And my baby, surround sound receiver. Spent a lot of money on that and works so well. Those HDMI cords are for if I want to switch things back and forth. Um, this is the NES AVS. It's got four controller slots, HD output, and it works perfectly. And you can't forget my baby, my 55 inch Samsung QLED TV. The input lag is phenomenal and perfect for movies and games. Moving on to the last little corner of this room here. My Mortal Kombat 9 statue. It has a little art book in there, all the makings of Mortal Kombat, and I put a few of my other steel books in there because, like I said, I'm running out of room. Probably not the best idea to put this on top of my subwoofer, but hey, hasn't fallen off yet. And of course, behind there, it's the Three Stooges collection on DVD. Of course, an older format, but it's an older show. Moving on to all my Blu-rays. So I definitely have a decent amount of Blu-rays. Hooray, physical media. Uh, the American Pie one through four collection and a ton of other ones here and there. I also have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on Blu-ray. It was a super special edition that came with so much stuff. It is the extended version. And I don't want to get rid of that when I upgrade to the 4K. Into my 4K Blu-rays. Solo, Hacksaw Ridge, King Kong, Alita Battle Angel, all those goodies. Like I said, still missing the first two Harry Potters on 4K, saving up for those. Uh, Avengers, Logan, The Mummy, Deadpool 2, all fantastic special editions. And of course, Mortal Kombat Scorpion's Revenge, a fun R-rated animated film, came with the action figure, Best Buy exclusive. Recently, I just picked up the extended version of Doctor Sleep on 4K Blu-ray as well. PS2 games, I have all the classics, Spider-Man 2, the Tony Hawk games, the Lord of the Rings games, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. My main system I do play on is PS4, hence why you see more PS4 games than anything on here. Huge Dark Souls fan, and I have a lot of games over here that I haven't even had time to open yet. I mean, Daymare 1998, the original spiritual successor to Resident Evil 2 until Capcom stepped in. Also, Control, I hear it's a fantastic game. Still haven't opened that one yet either. And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered is my most recent pickup. The gameplay and mechanics are just as I remembered, if not better, than the originals. My last few special editions, we have the Stranger Things 4K Blu-ray VHS Target Exclusive Seasons 1 and 2. I'm waiting for them to put out Season 3 on 4K Blu-ray. Who knows when that's going to happen. 
Last few PS2 games, we have the Mortal Kombat's, we have the Soul Calibur's, Mortal Kombat Special Edition for Deception. And that game, oh my god, it's one of my favorite Mortal Kombat games, if not my favorite. Who would have thought the company would have come up with a way to expand the lore of Mortal Kombat so much? And of course, in PS1 titles, we have to have the classics, Gex, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Spider-Man, all quality games that are in dire need of a remaster, in my opinion. The only new games for Xbox One I play are Sea of Thieves and Remnant. All the other games, basically, I could have gotten on PS4, but I just didn't have the hard drive space on there, so why not another machine? Nintendo Switch, my most recent pickup is the Super Mario Brothers All-Stars collection, and Super Mario 64 obviously is my favorite one out of all of them. And another favorite special edition of mine is the limited run Power Rangers Battle for the Grid game. The game itself is decent with all the DLC and updates included, and it comes with the power coins too. I just wish the game had more fighters. Got your normal games, Yu-Gi-Oh, Zelda, Mario's, all that good stuff. A few games for Wii U and the original Wii still hanging out there. So more special editions, I have the Star Wars 9 movie 4K collection. Say what you want about 7, 8, 9, but gotta have the whole set, right? Streets of Rage on PS4 comes with the retro Genesis style box from Limited Run. And my favorite special edition I have here is the Resident Evil 7 music box. Check this out. And this is cool, I'll turn it around so you guys can see this. It also came with the Derelict House VHS tape. Unfortunately, it's not a real VHS, it's not playable. The Dark Souls 3 Special Edition statue. I have the rest of the goodies for that game stored upstairs. And of course, my Xbox One controller pillow I picked up at the Microsoft Store in Washington. Nearing the end, we had the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword mini boss statue, the pirate. Yeah, I dropped him and he's missing his sword. I'm gonna super glue that, don't worry. My little Lord of the Rings shrine I've got here. I have both trilogies on Blu-ray because I haven't released them in 4K yet. The statues are fantastic. My favorite, obviously, is the Desolation of Smaug barrel ride scene. So much detail. Last but not least is my DC shelf. So Flash, Arrow, Supergirl statues from the CW-verse. They're put out by Icon Heroes, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Batman vs. Superman 4K, the Flash TV series from the 90s on DVD, and the DC 10th Anniversary Blu-ray collection. There's like 30 movies in there. It's awesome. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure I've shown you most of the stuff in this room now. So that pretty much wraps it up. I mean, behind the camera, there isn't really anything interesting. I have a few paintings, a uh, couch, my Wii U pad sitting over there, another couch, and yeah, that's about it. So, how'd I do, guys, for my first room tour? If there's anything else you guys want to see, or if you want to see the upstairs room where I film all my movie reviews, let me know. There's a few interesting things up there. But as always, guys, thanks for watching.